in this video we are going to talk about a new topic in tableau and this topic is known as the conditional formatting so first of all let me just get my orders table uh, into this equation so this is my data source that is the orders table and this is my worksheet uh, which is named as sheet one uh, let me rename it as conditional formatting right uh, so let's see how do we do that and basically what it stands for okay so suppose i have like um some data that is the um uh, let me just get the sales okay so suppose i have the sales um uh, any subcategory wise fashion okay so let me just drag the subcategory here or we can just double click on the subcategory to get it then we can double click on the sales part and perform it like this okay uh, so these are some of the subcategories and some of the uh, and the sales that we are getting in these subcategories right now suppose i want to apply a filter that is i want like top 10 subcategories only so what can i do is uh I can just apply that kind of a filter that I want top ten subcategories to be shown. How do we apply this filter? We have already seen. We can also create a parameter out of this. But let's just see. We can just drag the subcategory into this. Go to the stop option. Go to by field. We want the top ten. So if we just click on apply, you see only ten of them are visible with a total value of um, only top ten are visible. Okay. If you want to get the total, you can also go to this total sign and make sure that the column grand totals is available. So this item shows the total amount that we are getting. If we remove the subcategory, then that total changes. Okay. So this is how we can create something. But how can we do this with the help of conditional formatting? And what is the advantage of conditional formatting? This is what we are going to explore in this video. Okay. So for conditional formatting. what we need to do is firstly we need to create a calculated field we have already discussed about the calculated field in the previous videos so what i'm going to create is a calculated field names as index so this is going to use a function called index let's just search for that function so this is the index function that returns the index of the current row so if we just use this function remove the sales part and click on okay so what happens is this index kind of a thing is created if we just double click on it then we are getting this index like this but there are a lot of things that we are getting over here so we won't be doing all this stuff what we are going to do is perform a simple thing that is right click over here there is this option of convert to discrete So if we just go to convert to discrete, so this index is converted into a discrete value. Now if we just apply this index over here, now we are getting. Let me just rearrange this. Now we are getting a simple index pill over here and nothing else. So it's a lot more cleaner and a lot more easier to understand. Now what is this index? This index is giving me the numbering. That is, uh, what is the sales provided by each of these subcategories? Right. This is what it is giving me. However, these sales are all randomly organized. They are not organized into any kind of format. If I want, I can go to the subcategory fashion and arrange it in a particular format, right? Now what happens is the subcategory is arranged in the ascending order, or oh, sorry, the descending order. That means the phones giving us the highest sales is on the top part, right? We have got the index assigned to it. Phones is assigned the first index, shares is assigned the second index, etc. now what do we do is uh, we know that if we want to find out the top 5 subcategories that are giving us the most number of sales if you want some that kind of a stuff so what we can do is we can just go to the subcategory option go to top select by field and here type 5 click on apply click on okay all these things we can do so what will happen is we would be getting these top 5 subcategories like this in a grand total wise fashion and the grand total would also be there but all the remaining values that is the remaining 12 values are hidden from us suppose we don't want that we want the top 5 subcategories to be there but we also want the all the subcategories to be shown 
so how can we work with it if you want to work in this kind of a scenario then we need something that is known as the conditional formatting so let's see how conditional formatting is going to work we are going to create another calculated field so let's click on create calculated field and let's just name it as top 5 okay so we are going to create a top 5 for it now what is it going to be that um, the index field whatever the index field is it should be less than equal to 5 right now all these things are arranged in the descending order so whenever the index is less than or equal to 5 we would be getting this information about that that means the top 5 subcategories right we can click on apply we can click on ok now this top 5 as you can see its data type is tf that is a true false value if we just apply it into the colors part then what happens is these top 5 values are highlighted in the orange color and we get also a, a legend that tells us that this orange color represents true and this blue color represents false now true means that whichever values uh, just match the condition the condition that we gave uh, whatever values just match those conditions those are in the orange color and the rest are in the blue colors so we are not getting uh, not only getting all the values but also we are getting that which values fall right under the criteria right if you don't want to see these false value what you can do is select this and click on this exclude option so yeah that option would be excluded from here and that's just a filter applied okay but if you don't want that uh, you can just go with this uh, option normal option if you want to change the colors you can go to this edit colors option suppose for the true part we want a color like brown and for a false part i want a color like yellow or golden click on apply click on ok so this kind of a color is created you want to change other things about it you can change it that's totally your choice you can just go to this text part and you can change multiple things about this like the alignment and all so this is how you work with conditional formatting right now this color is not very good so let me just go back to these colors which are much more visible to the eye this is for the top conditional formatting next we have is for the bottom conditional formatting like we are using the top five if you want to show the bottom five sales then how do we do that so firstly we need to create a calculated field this time it's going to be just as we created index we have to create something as last so luckily we have a function called as last that uh, helps us the um, to get the row index from the last position okay so we would be using just this last function firstly to get out or to get this last index click on okay this last is created again we need to convert it to discrete so as to get a simple calculation for this and drag it over here so this is giving us the index from the last value of the row that is starting from 0 all the way to 16 now we want the bottom five values so what we can do is on this last we create a new calculated field and that's going to be bottom five now it's not mandatory that you always go for bottom five you can go for any number like bottom 10 bottom 12 whatever you want to go for you can just go for it just uh, the difference is you have to apply the formula over here okay that means i'm going for bottom five so i have to apply less than equal to four click on okay now this is the bottom five if i just apply it on the colors part now what happens is these bottom five things are highlighted that means these are the subcategories that are giving me the least sales right now again we can just hide them if you want if you don't want to hide them that's totally fine that is uh, totally up to you okay what do you want to show to the viewers one more thing you might not want this last index or this index part to be shown so how can you hide this whatever column you want to hide you can just click over here and make sure that this show header is unchecked so for this last it's blown off the column's gone same thing you want to do for index you can go with it and click on this show header column make sure it's gone so we would be getting the bottom five categories you want to apply a filter let's click on exclude so these are the bottom five categories or the categories which are giving us the least sales the five subcategories okay so this is what we are getting that's how you can apply conditional formatting uh this is all for this video we will see more about it in the next one